U.S. Army awarded a $43.5 million contract to Epirus, a Los Angeles-based defense technology company, to advance high-power microwave systems capable of disabling drone swarms. This contract marks a significant step in the Army's strategy to counter increasing drone threats with scalable, non-kinetic solutions. The system, known as Leonidas, is designed to disrupt the electronics of multiple unmanned aerial systems UAS, simultaneously through directed energy pulses. Developed using gallium nitride Don, based solid-state technology, Leonidas features a software-defined architecture, allowing for system upgrades and performance enhancements via software updates, without requiring hardware changes. Leonidas is available in several formats, including fixed installations, vehicle-mounted units, and pods for airborne or ground use. Its modular design supports quick maintenance through line-replaceable amplifier modules and ensures compatibility with established U.S. Army command and control networks such as FAD-C2. Operational testing of Leonidas took place on April 30, 2025, at Naval Station Leo Vigildo Gantiokwi in the Philippines. During the exercise, the system demonstrated the ability to engage multiple aerial targets in a tropical environment. U.S. Army officials confirmed its performance under these conditions as a key milestone toward field readiness. The new contract supports the development of a next-generation version of the system with extended range and greater power output. The goal is to counter the rising deployment of mass-produced drones, which pose challenges to traditional defenses due to their low cost and ability to operate in coordinated groups. Conventional anti-drone methods, such as electronic warfare and precision-guided weapons, have proven effective but may become cost-prohibitive when addressing swarm tactics. High-power microwave systems offer a potential solution by neutralizing large numbers of drones in a single pulse, reducing engagement costs and simplifying response logistics. Nevertheless, analysts caution that no standalone system can fully counter evolving aerial threats. Neil Hart of the Australian Strategic Policy Institute noted in a May 2025 report that future air defenses must adopt layered approaches that combine kinetic, electronic, and directed energy technologies. He also highlighted the likelihood of adversaries adapting with hardened electronics or tethered drone systems less vulnerable to jamming. Leonidas is being developed under the Army's Indirect Fire Protection Capability, High Power Microwave, IFPCHPM, program and has been validated by the U.S. Department of Defense as a production-ready solution. Its integration into U.S. defense architecture will contribute to broader efforts aimed at enhancing situational awareness and response to airborne threats in both domestic and international theaters. As the use of drones in military and civilian airspace increases, the U.S. Army's investment in directed energy systems represents a proactive approach to evolving security challenges and highlights a growing emphasis on electronic warfare solutions in modern conflict environments.